channel, Sarah Lisa. I am excited about this one today because I am taking for the first time this season my coffee in the gazebo. And you guys know I love this little tiny space um, in our yard and it is such a fun place to come and decorate and change things up. And I love it here. It's not really green outside yet but it's warm. So soon enough, the leaves are going to be gorgeous and it's going to be perfect summer and it just feels like we're on the very, very start of it. And I have a really fun one today. We have another new um, vintage, not vintage. This is just more like a maker's market, but there's some vintage in it um, nearby. And there was a girl who had one of my dogs is in here, so you might hear a little bit of noise throughout, but she's also really happy to lie in the sun, so I'm gonna leave her be. Um, there is a new market in town, and there's a vendor who has mystery jewelry jars, and getting a jewelry jar is so much fun for me. It's just like getting a new book or a magazine, something to kind of sort through, so I'll probably keep some and maybe I'll sell some and with the rest of it, we'll go to the pet safe and drop it off as a donation. But I thought we would spend a relaxing morning drinking coffee and going through some mystery jewelry jars. So I haven't even unwrapped them yet. There's two, I guess we'll do like one and then the other, but I'm excited because um, I know this vendor and she pulls vintage really well. So um, let's see what's in here. I have, um, I just brought this in. It was actually made by my husband's great grandmother and it was gifted to me on one of my birthdays because that side of the family knows I like old things, but I thought it might be um, the perfect thing to sort of lay things out and um, showcase them on because it was simple and plain white. Okay, let's start with this one. And she's done a really cute job making them. If it takes too long, I can do a second video for that one. I don't know how many pieces are actually in here. She's done them in little dairy milk. I don't know if these jars are vintage or not, but they're really cute. And I paid $15 for this bottle. It's pretty small, just like for scale. It's like, I don't know, a large coffee size could probably fit in there, but um, it looked really fun. So let's get into it. I did bring scissors because I thought it looked taped up really, really well. Okay, let's get started here. Might be hard to get some things out of here, I'm not sure yet. I'll just pull them out piece by piece and well, I can see already, we're gonna have to do a little bit of detangling at the same time. Okay, here is our first piece. It is a, it's definitely vintage. The beads are glass and some of them are really pretty with like a handmade sort of feel. It's a toggle bracelet and it has a clasp with a flower and there's a leaf on the toggle part. It's really quite cute. Would go pretty well with what I'm wearing today. I like that a lot actually. There's some really pretty beads. There's some hearts. There's some handmade beads. Quite sweet. And the next one, I think these are things that maybe she had a hard time selling because there's a little elastic here where she used to have her price. This looks to me like it might be sterling silver actually. I'll have to check later with my loop. No, nope, yeah, there's um 925 written on it. And this is also a bracelet, like a faux double with a little buckle. 
and hearts on it. This one I would absolutely wear myself and I could even sell it on Etsy if I wanted to, I'm sure. So two bracelets so far. I'll just take her little whoops, tag off and move it to the side. Here's an old brooch, kind of really dark, dark tone. Has some age to it. Maybe I'll make a pile of brooches here. I'm assuming there's some brooches. So I've got a bracelet, two bracelets and a brooch so far. This is, looks like tiger's eye. It's super cold, so it's definitely stone. Another bracelet, also, my size. I might be keeping this one. You can feel um, with these bracelets, if it's stone, it's really, really cold um, to the touch. You can always feel just sort of by holding a bead, whether it's plastic or stone, you'll know pretty quickly. And our first necklace out of here. This one's not particularly my style. It's a bit Fancy, it is unstamped, but it's just a pretty dangle drop, kind of a shimmering teardrop necklace. I'll probably be donating that one because I don't see myself wearing it. Oh, this is old. This is a really pretty necklace. Curious about the clasp, yeah. I could see that the beads were older, they're glass beads, and a few stone pieces. This is really, really lovely. And the closure is like a screw together. And it's also in just a different shape. It's like an octagon um, shape. You don't really see those anymore. A lovely necklace, which I would definitely be adding to my own collection. The amount of things you can fit in this small jar, I can see. I wasn't sure how many items would be in here, but there's quite a lot. Okay, another brooch. That one is going to go into the donate selection. I don't wear brooches. I wish I did because I like them. I appreciate them, but ooh, I don't wear them. This. I would wear. It has some age as well. And it is a clip like you would fasten to each side of your sweater. It's really quite sweet. They are little flowers with blue beads in the center. I don't know if you would call it a scarf clip or a sweater clip, but um, you can wear them like this or anywhere else. Very sweet. I'll put it with bracelets because I don't really know where else. We're not going to have a section for sweater clips, that's for sure. Here's another brooch. This one is really pretty. And I might put this on my Etsy page. It's got some age to it. Really quite sweet, a bar pin with some dangly jewels. There's like some emerald colored and some deep purple and blue. Really, really sweet. That will probably go into my Etsy shop. This, let me see if I can get this one that I was thinking. This I could sort of see in the store and I liked it. It's got some age to it as well. It's also a brooch. I wondered if it was sterling silver. It doesn't feel like sterling to me. Um, it's just metal, but it's really pretty and quite unique. I'll probably put this in my Etsy shop as well. So far, I've been really quite pleased with the things in here. Here are some 1950s clip on earrings. These are going to go in the donate pile because I do not wear clip on earrings and I find them a bit hard to sell um, on my Etsy page as well, but I know there are people out there that still wear clip ons so that will be a donate for me. Okay, this was like 
a shake and three things came out, including this absolutely giant ring. I'll put it on with my ring underneath, but blue giant cocktail ring. It's pretty fun. There it is. It's not sterling. It is a costume piece, but kind of fun. We don't have a ring section yet. Um, we've got some earrings, necklaces, brooches, and bracelets. I'll start a ring section here. I'm not sure if there will be another or not. And have a sip of coffee. This is super fun and relaxing for me. I hope it is for you too. Okay, next we have two pins and they are both absolutely adorable. There is a tiny bumblebee. It's got the little clasp. Um, this is really, really sweet. I hope you can see it. I never quite know if you can see things clearly, but I'll line them all up here on this um, cloth as well. It will go in brooches, but I might actually keep this brooch because I think it's so sweet for summer. Stick him there. And then a stick pin of a gold koala holding some sort of opalescent faux um, stone. It has the little cap on the bottom. It's pretty cute too. That one I will probably um, put in my Etsy shop as well. This is a fun thing to do if you're a reseller um, because you can quickly make your money back on something like this, which I always like to keep some things, try to make some money back on things, maybe even turn a profit. And it's a fun little activity too. Okay, we're gonna need to untangle this in a second, but here is a vintage and she did try and sell it at some point. Sometimes as a vintage seller, you just wanna move your items, you want fresh things. Um, you've had something for too long. It's happened to me many a time where I just wanna move it. Um, and it is a bracelet. And just a quick check shows me that all of the stones are there, so it's not damaged. It's really quite cute. Bracelets, um, really nice bracelets today. Here is something else that I can tell just by a quick peek that I will be donated. It is stamped GF for gold filled, and it's also an old Coro piece. Coro Craft is vintage jewelry that I'm sure a lot of you will recognize. I won't detangle it now because it's going to take me a minute, but it's a simple gold um, circle on the original chain and it's a necklace, but it needs to be detangled and that will be either donated or put on my Etsy page. I've got a butterfly pin. It's really quite pretty. Going in the little brooch section and a stone pink heart with a tiny crystal that could go onto a necklace. So that's our first like pendant for a necklace. Here's a, oh, this is pretty. Definitely vintage, definitely costume um, pearl necklace. The clasp is really beautiful and definitely older, super sweet, into our sort of necklace area. Slide another necklace. This is, what is this? This is Tiger's Eye, and I forget what these kind of metallic beads are. Let me know in the comments below if you know. They're like black and shiny. They were kind of popular in the 1990s, but it's a cluster necklace. It's got some good weight to it. And actually, looking at this now, it looks a bit more 70s than 90s with this kind of screw closure. It's really cute. That is another one that I might consider wearing myself. 
Well, my $15 investment, I think, was well worth it today. I still have a few things left in the bottom. This is strange. Okay, it's, I thought it was a necklace. It's a toggle bracelet, not sterling silver. I can feel that right away. And it has a cluster of a tab, a square, some natural stones, and some fake stones. I think it would be too big and bulky for me to wear comfortably because it's gonna hang like this. So I'm not too sure about this one. It's probably gonna donate and maybe someone else might um, enjoy that. It would make more sense as a necklace, maybe. Coming to the end here, there's just like a clump of gold. The bottle is really quite cute and I might cut down some flowers and even use it um, in here, pop some flowers in. I'll have to like fight with this tape and give it a wash, but it's really sweet. I'm not sure if it's vintage or um, fake vintage. Either way, it's sweet. Okay, this clump of gold here is probably a few different items that need to be untangled. Two items. Okay, last two. This is sweet. It is a, oh, it is a 1928 necklace. And that is a brand, not the year, but they make some really fun um, vintage now jewelry, 1928. And they're always done in like a Victorian or 40s kind of vibe. I really, like this one. I'll be keeping it. It's a super long chain and it's a butterfly that has some really nice detail. And I wonder, that's a bit too thick looking. It is, it's a locket, which I really like as well. And the clasp works just super fun. I will be keeping that one for myself to wear. I like the long length too, and there's one more piece in there. The last piece is also a necklace. I like this one too. Um, not stamped at all, but vintage, probably gold plated or just metal, but it's a tiny flower with a faux pearl in the center. That was really quite fun. Um, way more jewelry here than I thought there was going to be. Certainly got my money's worth for $15. And I'll just do a scan so you can see everything together. I think that I'll even be keeping this after I clean it up and I'll put a flower in it maybe. I'm gonna not open the other bottle just yet because this kind of took forever. So I'll sort through this and um, bring some things in to donate today and keep some things and sell some things on Etsy. Let me know in the comments um, if you want me to do my next video opening the other bottle, if this is something that you like watching. Um, I always like thrifting as well, but this was super fun and I hope you have an enjoyable, relaxing week where you are as well and I'll see you here next time. Bye.